We are back with the test of nostalgia on this Tuesday morning because we are joined by two actors who were a staple on our TV screens for years. So beginning in the 90s, Melissa Joan Hart starred in Sabrina the Teenage Witch. Sole Moon Fry playing the iconic yeah. Hunky Brewster on NBC in the 1980s. Well, now these two friends are teaming up in a short documentary style film on Lifetime. It's called I Never Thought to Ask a Mom's Quest for Answers. It raises awareness about the potential dangers of meningitis B, an uncommon but very serious illness. So, good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. It's so hey good to see good you. Good to see you. It's so nice to have you here, and especially since you're raising awareness about such an important, um, you know, such an important illness. So, what did you learn as you were kind of getting into you know, your research behind meningitis B? So much. I mean, as a mom, I really thought that my kids had been vaccinated for meningitis B, and it turns out that meningitis B is completely different, and it hmm. really affects 16 to 23 year olds are one of the groups that are affected most. It's uncommon, but a deadly disease. And I was like, wait a second, if I don't know this, then there must be so many other families that don't know this. It's not included in the typical meningitis. It's it's vaccine. not the same vaccination that they get when they're uh, younger. Hmm. Uh, Soleil, uh, Melissa, we should note that the project is sponsored by GSK, mm -hmm. and uh, we also should disclose that you're both paid spokespersons for the company. Yes. Everyone in the film was compensated. But you are both moms, yes. teenagers. And good friends. With, and with four children. I have four children. She has four. Oh, I've got three. They're all about the three. same age. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Why was and it we so... share we share a lot of information as moms, right? We um, mm -hmm. and as friends, we talk a lot about all the things that um, you know we're worried about with our children and things we're experiencing with our children as they're becoming teenagers. Now we both have teenagers. She went on this journey of telling the story through the movie, and I got to be a part of it as she explained it to me, as mm -hmm. she told me about her journey. So Yeah, it was incredible. I learned about it from a very dear friend and Melissa and I are constantly sharing stories so she's like the one that I call in the middle of the night you know I mean literally my daughter's graduating high school my other daughter is like in the throes of high school and so you know and then I have two little ones and so it's so wonderful to be able to share these stories yeah, with and each she, other and turn to she each taught other. me that this is like between the ages of 16 and 23 is the time that you want to be talking to your doctor and so we're part know, of they're going program. off to college yeah. and having yeah. fun well, or out into the world that. yeah <laughs> This, this, friend, lips. this friendship you guys have, <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it's part of that friendship and that bond, what you share, because you're a part of a small club, club of folks who are child <laughs> actors mm -hmm. and pretty much can understand what each other went through yeah. and has gone through, and a lot of us can't. We met when we were about six years old on the set of a Ron Howard pilot, and oh, wow. we've been friends ever since, yeah. ran into each other a lot when I was doing Sabrina in the early days, and then she joined the cast for three years, so mm -hmm. she was part of Sabrina cast for three years. Literally, and... we've, grown, we've grown up together our entire yep. lives. Our children are like a week apart, and like, you know, really? so like we were yeah. pregnant at the same time, so we're always sharing information, and we're always kind of talking to each other each other about you know the business and about the kids and about marriage and all these things that we're and going I think through one of the most beautiful parts is just how authentic our friendship has always been we can talk about anything I mean through the ups and downs of life I just feel like we've constantly been there to support oh, each so other. Yeah. Yeah. I almost yes. like don't want to interrupt you guys you know it's so interesting you know you've, you've got four kiddos three kiddos for you you know and I'll use the word icon and iconic in the in the intro when we were talking about your roles do your kids understand that and do you still have people that come up to you or is it a little bit sometimes I feel like people may see and not say anything I what think you, hers understand Understand her icon role Your more than mine. They, I, mean, <laughs> I feel like they thought I was much more iconic when they were younger. Like uh. I feel like you know there was a period where Lyric would call me Punky everywhere I went, and I was like, <laughs> and I literally was like, no, I'm not paying him to call me Punky. That's like he, funny. when he first discovered it, we'd be like, Lyric, please. Did you have him watch it <laughs> and say, funny. guys, watch mommy? Like, did you? No, but never? they would ask. And my my incredible daughter Jagger is here with me actually, and uh, my daughter poet. Oh, spinning image by the way. She's your spinning I have, image. I have four kids, and literally, I just, all, Jagger, come all, here. all I want is for them to think I'm cool. Well, she <laughs> looks just like Pokey Bruce. Oh Stand next to mom. Uh, you think she's mom. cool? Is, she, is mom cool? Yeah. And she, oh, she, oh, she, this is, this is the difference, I think. Cool. Daughters think you're cool. My boys are like, they only call me Melissa Joan Hart in public if they want my attention. <laughs> <laughs> mom, 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 Melissa Joan Hart. <laughs> 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 
I don't blow my cover. It's so awesome because our kids literally grew up together. So we were pregnant at the same time. I remember she came to see me in the hospital with Poet. Yes, and I and cried because I was, was like, oh, I'm pregnant. I, like, I was yeah. pregnant with my first as she's giving birth yeah. to her yeah. first. So it was, and then Jagger is like one week younger than my son. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. like, so it we have pictures in People okay. Magazine yeah. being pregnant and whatnot. So Any of the kids yeah. maybe following in your footsteps? Mm. My, I mean, my kids are all in love with entertainment. They love directing, filmmaking, music, performing, all of it. Mine want to be yeah. like coders and yeah. pilots. So <laughs> okay. we, we need both yeah. to make the world exactly. go right. Yeah, absolutely. But they're also like rock climbers and like jumping oh, yeah, off we'll of walls it. and all yeah. of that. Yeah. So it's, it's a mix. Off all boxes. We have <laughs> seven kids. Yeah, we are. But yeah, like we said, we, we share information. And so like this Ask to Be Sure project that we're mm -hmm. on right now is like really important to ask your doctor about the meningitis B vaccination. And absolutely. That's raising the conversation, yeah. yes. you know, really communicating. I'm glad you had your that healthcare. Right. Yeah, thank you so yeah. much for being here and, and for raising awareness. Thank about you. This. Thank Good you. seeing you. you guys. Thanks for being thank here. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, you hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.